Well, just because your kids are grown up doesn't mean you stop parenting. In fact, this transition time can often be more challenging because of changing dynamics and roles. We're talking to the author of You and Your Adult Child, How to Grow Together in Challenging Times. Dr. Lauren Steinberg joins us now. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, how are you? Good, good to have you with us. Um, I, I wonder how the helicopter parents will behave as their kids get older. Uh, how much, where do you draw that line on helping your kids, interacting with your kids and, and letting them do their own thing, even when they're in, let's say, college? It's always, uh, you know, a tightrope, I think. And it's very difficult for lots of parents to pull back, especially the ones who have been helicoptering for um, all this time. But as I write, this is a period in development when young adults need to continue to establish their autonomy and parents can get in the way of that. How do you, is it, is it helpful? You know, we, we were always like, oh, it was different when we were growing up. We had much more independence. It, it, that's not really helpful when you're comparing how people were raised in different generations, right? When you're talking to your kids, I'm assuming. I think if there's one takeaway from the book, that's exactly the point. Um, the timetable of adulthood has changed a lot. Everything has been delayed in terms of when people finish their education, enter the labor force, get married, have kids. So you can't really compare how your child is doing to what you were doing when you were that age. And I suggest that you subtract five years from the comparison age for yourself. So in other words, if your child is 35, don't ask what you were doing when you were 35, ask what you were doing when you were 30. Mm. So let me, but some, the flip side of that may be some wisdom is eternal. And what if your child, uh, adult child brings home somebody and, and you and your wife are looking at each other and you know that this person is bad, uh, bad news. How do you or do you uh, approach that subject with your adult child? I think it partly depends on your adult child's age. We know that very few people end up marrying somebody that they um, are dating in their early 20s. So if that's your child's age, you probably don't have a lot to worry about. Um, if not, I think you need to ask yourself whether this is a matter of taste or whether there is something dangerous about this person. If it's the latter, I think you need to have a discussion with your kid. What about that old thing about your kids moving back home? You know, you see these kids that are kind of you know, waiting to save money. Well, you, sometimes you're never going to have enough money and you just got to get out. What's the, what's the uh, rule of thumb there? Well, I think everybody needs to know that living with your parents is now the most common living arrangement for American people in their 20s. And so first things first, you shouldn't look at it as some kind of failure on your part or on your kid's part. It's very, very common. Um, I think the, the it, because it's so new in America, um, one of the things that families need to uh, figure out is what the rules are going to be. I mean, there's there aren't any rules yet, and you need to have a conversation with your child before they move back in about what the responsibilities are, how long the arrangement's going to go on, um, what your role is going to be as a parent who's now living with your adult child, which may be very different than your role when you were living apart from them. Let's talk about kids who may be a bit older who have kids uh, when and or how should you talk to them about parenting issues that you don't agree with that you think may be harmful? When they come to you for advice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <And> unless, <laughs> unless they do that, yeah. I think I would keep your mouth shut unless there's something really, really horrible going on. There are lots of fine ways to raise young children. Um, and even though you and your kid may disagree about what the right parenting is, you have to remember that parenting advice changes from generation to generation. And what your adult child, who's now a parent, has been told by their pediatrician or the books they've read or the friends that they talk to is probably very different than what you were told by your pediatrician um, or the books that you read. And um, that's okay. I think sometimes you just have to hold your nose and look away. Um, but that's probably better than giving unsolicited parenting advice. Mm. Well, Lawrence will be speaking for the GPS Parent Series April 10th at noon and 7 p.m. You can go to glenbargps.org for details, and you can check out lawrencesteinberg.com. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me.